And hello from East Anglia. This is the scene here at Carrow Road. My name is Derek Ray, and my commentary partner on this occasion is Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you the cut and thrust of the championship. It is Norwich City, and they take on Birmingham City. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. Josh Sargent. Mastery of the passing game. Puki. Determined block. Just not looking confident in possession. Josh Sargent. A very good tackle. Aaron's. Superbly read and executed. But I think just lost his focus for a second and a throw in conceded. Hogan. Still level here, but the pressure escalating. Tremendous block. And well, he stopped them in their tracks. And snuffing out the danger. Sergeant. The attack continues. They're making considerable progress. And still an opportunity. And the flag has been raised here. Well, there can't have been a lot in that. Dowell Kenny McLean now well that takes the wind out of their sails great defending well as you can see Norwich have enjoyed more of the ball but their attacking players lack tempo invention and goal something they need to rectify quickly if they're going to win this one well, certainly, and here they are, passing the ball around once more. Can they take the lead? Oh, blocked it! Well, this is a big moment, and don't these fans know it? Well, opting for the short corner. Puki. There is the goal to open the scoring. Who can say they don't deserve to be in front? Well, let's take another look, and it's a very good goal. And they deserve it, you have to say. They've been excellent. And back underway, 1-0 it is. Well, it's a really poor challenge. Now, what's the referee going to do about it? And a yellow card, it's going to be Stuart. Yeah, the ref's got that right. It's a yellow card all day long.
Two minutes of stoppage time coming up. Puki. Dowell. And a good looking ball. Hernandez. And a fantastic diving save. He's driven in the corner. The clearance wasn't decisive. Well, no damage done. And that is going to close the book on the first half here at Carrow Road. We certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, he certainly had an impact on that first half, scoring that late goal but I thought his overall contribution was really good and he got better as the half wore on. Well, underway once more and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half. Zini... Using his body to good effect. Dowell. Onel Hernandez. quality defending this might be ideal for the counter well that break looked so promising but nothing coming from it Sergeant Kenny McLean now Hernandez great opportunity brilliantly blocked Another good tackle. Yanoulis. Dion Sanderson. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Puki. And here now is Hernandez. Good movement. But the danger averted for now. Just 15 minutes remaining. And that attack going up a dead end. And the keeper has the ball. Good work from Norwich to win back possession. Puki, Hernandez, opportunity to deliver the cross, a routine save. If you're wondering about stoppage time, one minute to be added on. And that will be all for this match. Plenty of positives for Norwich City and their supporters on the back of this victory. Well, Derek, it was a tight game. Both sides had their moments and chances, but overall, they just about shaded it. A well-earned victory. No two ways about it. He really has brought his influence to bear on the proceedings. Well, he was excellent today, and he gave them that all-important lead. They just struggled to cope with him. His movement was so clever.